Hello and welcome to News in Brief on Vantage TV, where I bring you daily news updates on the stories that made major headlines from around the world. My name is Anita Macaulay. Do well. Stay tuned. On the national news, House of Reps demand NNPC audits over unaccounted 2 trillion assets. The House of Representatives has called for a forensic audit of the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited to determine the assets and liabilities as well as its current market value. According to the House, the audit has become necessary due to the metamorphosis of the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation into a limited liability company. The House's ad hoc committee on NNPC's assets and liabilities in its report, which was presented to the legislature on Tuesday, claimed that its findings show that asset worth $64 billion was unavailed by former President Mahmoud Buhari, but during the transfer, only $58.8 billion was transferred, leaving a balance of 2 trillion naira unaccounted for. TET Fund approves 130 million naira intervention fund for each polytechnic. The Tertiary Fund, TED Fund, has approved 130 million naira as zonal intervention for each polytechnic in its 2023 intervention line, geared towards reinventing skill acquisitions in polytechnics across the country. This was disclosed by the Director of Infrastructure of the Fund, Buari Mike Ali, at the TED Fund slash MBT sensitization workshop on the 2023 zonal intervention on skills for rectors and directors of skills in beneficiaries polytechnics in Abuja on Tuesday. Mikhail Alu said that the intervention was to consolidate the efforts of the National Board for Technical Education, NBTE, in increasing the capacities of polytechnics to deliver on their mandate. He said the intervention was mostly used to support institutions to meet basic requirements for accreditations. On to international news, Ukraine evacuates thousands after key dam gets destroyed. Ukraine was evacuating thousands of people on Wednesday morning after an attack on a major Russian held dam unleashed a torrent of water, destroying two dozen villages and sparking fears of a humanitarian disaster. Washington warned there would be likely many deaths as Moscow and Kyiv traded blame for ripping a gaping hole in the Kakova Dam, which is located on the front line and provides cooling water for Europe's largest nuclear plant. Kyiv said the destruction of the dam seized by Russia in the early hours of the war was an attempt by Moscow to hamper its long-awaited offensive, which Ukraine's leader stressed would not be affected. The UN Security Council held an emergency meeting on Tuesday following requests from Russia and Ukraine. That's the size of the package on this edition of News in Brief Advantage TV. For more updates, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye.